morning it's 6 45 and there in the distance is a Gallipoli which I shall go and have a quick look at well this is uh, old Gallipoli I'm just doing a circuit of the outskirts and it's got a, a little beach Well, Gay Lippoli is very similar, the old Gay Lippoli is very similar to Taranto, except Gay Lippoli has a lot more bars and restaurants. The clues in the colours in the balloons, I suppose. The small town of Old Gallipoli is connected to the new town of Gallipoli by this single bridge. Very similar to Taranto. And on the other side of the bridge is New Gallipoli. Uh, that's another Italian gun emplacement ready to thwart any American storming of this beach. And this is what they built in the 15th century to ward off a few pirates. They had the right idea in those days. So there you have old Gallipoli. And if I pan round to the left, sorry, to the right, that's new Gallipoli. And then just south of Gallipoli are the beaches. left of uh, one of the forts. And if I just go up the old top. Uh, obviously the interior would have had probably two large rooms. Uh, I'm not too sure what that's for. Well I've discovered what this is or was or it might have been. see me there in the water. So it could have been a well. Interesting church with uh, an array of bells. I can't think what the Italians were doing when they built those. It would have been easier for them to hide behind a rock rather than climb into one of those things. Absolute death traps. This part of the coastline is very rocky. I haven't uh, spotted too many beaches, but there is this coastal path that uh, I've been following for about the last five to 10 kilometers. This is uh, Torria de Luca, overlooking the port, the little port of Luca. After 3,107 kilometers, I've reached the town of Santa Maria di Luca, which is at the southern end of the heel of Italy. So I suppose it's a bit like reaching John O'Groats or Land's End in England. It's only just after 11 o'clock, but I thought I would celebrate my reaching the southernmost tip of the heel of Italy with a beer. It's beer o'clock somewhere in the world, and it's beer o'clock here. Cheers. coast from uh, Santa Maria di Luca. Uh, it's definitely got more rugged and there are more hills to contend with and it's also overcast which is unfortunate. Right, I've just come across this uh, roadblock and there's quite a few cyclists in the same position and uh, this 
is completely chained and completely locked. But we've got to get through somehow. Alright, so we're having to get the bikes around the pole and everything else. So I've got my bags off and I've got my bike out. Yeah, hold on, so the reason we're having to do this is that the road has been washed away. Right, since we've got all the bikes over, so thank you very much for your help thank and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice journey. Enjoy, Enjoy your time. Enjoy. See you. See Ciao. Bye bye. So after getting our bags over that uh, closed off road, this is Castro. After 125 kilometers, I've made it to Otranto and uh, this wreck, this rusting wreck, is an Albanian guard ship that apparently collided with an Italian navy ship and this ship was carrying 81 migrants, or actually a few more, but 81 of them died. And so as a memorial to the migrants that died, they salvaged the ship and then an artist uh, embellished it with glass. But I'm not too sure why. And this is the old part of uh, Otranto. And looking at my watch, my goodness me, it's beer o'clock. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. This is definitely more touristy. Well, I think I can safely say the Adriatic is as cold as the Med. It's uh, a refreshing, probably 16, 17 degrees.